So then guys, still in 2024, we could be getting an upgrade to the Mac Mini with a brand new design. So that's right guys, the current design of the Mac Mini, like I've got right here, could finally be upgraded after about 12 or 14 years now. We've had this current iMac Mini design, like I said, for ages now, and it looks like finally Apple could be updating it with a brand new design and a couple of other changes too. So first of all, let's have a look at this newest leak that we had in telling us that the Mac Mini is going to be getting a brand new design. Take a look here. So as you can see right here, this leak coming in tells us that we're going to be getting an update to the Mac Mini with a brand new design. And if anything, it looks like it could be very similar to the likes of a Apple TV design that we have right now. So just to show you here, comparison, this here is the current Apple TV and just look at that size difference. There is a massive difference there in size, what we've got here between both these models. And this is what potentially the new Mac Mini could fit into. It could fit into something this small, what is absolutely crazy to see compared to the current Mac Mini. Now, first of all, the first thing I'm going to say what one of the big differences would be if Apple were to cram, say, an M4 and M4 Pro inside of a device maybe a little bit bigger than this Apple TV, is that most likely the actual power for it would probably be like a power brick very similar to like we have with the 24 inch iMac and potentially this could also have an ethernet port inside of this too and this could connect into the back of this brand new Mac mini that we're going to get. But the other thing that we've also seen is leaks and rumors here telling us that we're also going to lose the USB-A ports on the back of this Mac mini and it's just going to be USB-C ports or Thunderbolt ports. And it says here that most likely we're going to get three USB-C ports on the rear of this Mac mini and two of them on the very front. What's well, also going to be very interesting to see if Apple actually do this with their new design of the Mac mini. Now, something else that could also potentially change is that we've had the silver color, as you can see right here, for ages. And we did have a little stint back in 2018 where we actually had the space gray color for just those models then, that was an option. But it looks like potentially that we could also get a space black version. Now, I personally think there will be the silver version and there will also be the space black version of the two of these models that you could pick from as colors for the new Mac Mini, what's gonna be absolutely awesome. Something else though, what is also gonna be interesting to see is how the fan design will work inside of this new Mac Mini, because obviously the current Mac Mini does have a fan inside of it, but obviously we're gonna to have to have something in there to keep it cool. But we can turn our attention to the likes of say the M3 MacBook Pro with the M3 Pro and the M3 inside of it and how thin this MacBook Pro is with fans to keep that cool. So you can obviously see the potential that we could easily fit those kind of fans inside of a device like this because obviously they're even thinner than this. So yeah, this is gonna be really awesome to see. Also the likes of say the iMac as well, they have fans in them too on the higher spec kind of the M3 version of that. So it will be interesting to see how Apple crammed down the fans to keep say the M4 and the M4 Pro inside of this machine really really cool so yeah it's gonna be interesting to see that but for the actual configurations of this new Mac mini what could we actually see then in kind of performance wise and what kind of cores and you know different chipsets we're going to see well most likely we're going to see the likes of the new M4 that came out in 2024 inside of the iPad Pro and this gave us the configuration of two configurations we had the option of either the 9 core CPU version or the 10 core CPU version. And obviously the GPU cores, they were all 10 cores. But the main difference was that you got six efficiency cores in either of these configurations in the CPU, but you either got the choice of three or four CPU cores inside of these choices. And I think that the baseline version, you will get that lower spec version, you'll get the nine core M4 inside of the Mac mini as the baseline, but you'll be able to obviously choose up to get the higher configuration with the extra cores inside of it. And there's also the potential that we've seen like from our 
fellow Russian leaker who's shown us the M4 MacBook Pro and it had 16 gigabytes of RAM inside of this and I think that this is going to also be coming into the likes of the Mac Mini too if there is going to be the base configuration of 16 gigabytes it would just make sense for this to happen but then what about the M4 Pro well I ran over some of the cores and differences that we could potentially see in this chart that you can see right here in the past and I believe this is still going to stay true that we could actually get still a 12 core M4 Pro or the potential of even having two extra cores inside it up to a 14 core M4 Pro inside of it and you can see here of the configurations of these charts here of how the M4 Pro is going to compete to the other devices out there in the past and you can see it's still going to be a real screamer even the M4 II this is going to be a real powerhouse here the potential we're going to see with these new Mac minis. But then something else to be excited about is the giveaway we are doing on this channel and it is for this right here. This here is an iPhone 16 Pro Max and this is the Desert Titanium model and I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel at the end of December time just before Christmas it's going to be so before the 25th of December and you can enter into this giveaway right now and all you have to do is just put down into the comments below of what technology gear you're hoping to get in 2024 or even into early 2025 maybe it's going to be the new Mac mini with an M4 M4 Pro or maybe a MacBook Pro with an M4 or maybe you're going to get yourself a PS5 Pro or waiting like I am for that switch to to come out in the early part of 2025. Put it down into the comments below right now. And like I did say guys, near the end of December time, I am gonna be making another video giving you even more details about the actual iPhone 16 Pro Max, 256 gigabyte model that we got here. And so you don't want to miss out on the video that I'm gonna to to do then because there will be a little form to fill in too. So make sure if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. And also make sure you're a subscriber because I'm giving it away to a subscriber. The last thing I just wanna quickly say guys, sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there people still impersonating me telling you to whatsapp telegram and even telling you to direct message them via instagram this is not me at all please do ignore these people better still as you can see right here please do report them so moving on then back to the m4 mac mini when are we likely going to get our hands on it well we just had a surprise very recently that we had the new ipad mini with the a17 pro introduced and this is coming out on the 23rd of october or maybe if you watch this video that's already happened but the main thing that I'm going to say is because of this and also as you can see right here we've had a leak telling us that iOS 18.1 is coming out on the 28th of October potentially with Apple intelligence I personally do not believe that Apple are going to want to introduce the new Mac mini and the new Macs around this time now you know we've got the reviews coming for the new iPad mini and then obviously I know it's in public beta right now but still it coming out to everybody iOS 18.1 with Apple intelligence you know this is their star of the show of 2024 Apple intelligence as much as all these new products have come out that is the big thing they're talking about I don't think they'll want to take away the limelight or anything kind of way from that happening that launch so obviously they want all those reviews out there about it when it officially comes out so I personally do not think that we're going to see the new Mac mini and also any other M4 devices around that time then obviously you might think maybe early November time but obviously we've got elections in the US and I don't think Apple will want to tread into that area there so you know if anything I'm going to say most likely if there is going to be an event in kind of November time I personally believe it's going to be either the 11th or the 12th of November around that time if Apple are going to introduce this new product before the end of 2024 it's before the holiday seasons of Thanksgiving and all of that and it just makes sense this would be really the right time to do this but there again you know it might not be it could be a different time but this would personally be my own personal prediction here when we're going to actually see this when we can get our hands on the new mac mini so this is going to be really really exciting to see but then moving on from that, what about the price of this new Mac Mini? Now, right now, the current Mac Mini with the M2 inside of it starts at 599 US dollars. Now, I've got a theory here. I believe Apple are gonna to continue to sell that M2 Mac Mini in this design that we've got right 
here. But I also believe they're going to bring out the new design Mac Mini, and this will probably cost us maybe a hundred or two hundred dollars more. So I'm talking about six nine nine or seven nine nine dollars US dollars for the new Mac Mini. It's just the sort of Apple way that they do things, especially if there's a brand new design coming out. Why not? you know, put up the cost. That's what Apple like to do when they bring out a brand new design. And I think that this will be the cost of the new Mac Mini, unfortunately. So it is gonna go up, but they will still offer the M2 option. But I also believe that the new M2 Pro option, that the price with that will probably retain around the same amount it is right now. So at the moment, the M2 Pro, costs us 1299 US dollars and I believe that Apple will probably retain that price for the M2 Pro so at least there's some positive news there but again those are just my predictions there but just got that feeling like I said knowing Apple this is the sort of tactic that they like to do that they'll probably do this on their prices this year especially if we are getting a new design but really guys that is the latest and greatest that we know about the new Mac Mini what are your thoughts on it are you going to get one and also, what would you be using it for? Let me know in the comments below. And also at the same time as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons too, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.